Here we are introducing to you our eucalyptus burst chest and eucalyptus burst bedside chests. The bedside chests are named left and right depending upon the orientation and the location of the burst on the front of these chests. Here we have the left one on the left, we have the right one on the right in this video. These have a beautiful kind of picture frame molding that surrounds the entire front of the cabinet and the doors are all touch latches. And so it takes just a simple little touch to open them or to close them. And the interior of every drawer is also completely covered in eucalyptus burl veneers. We talked earlier about these being uh, stained in a really kind of warm gray, gray tone and how the, uh, the cut of the eucalyptus veneer causes kind of fire or storms to happen on the surface of the piece of product. So as you, as you move around the product, I think you can see that there's uh, rays of light that kind of pop off these just depending on where the direction of the veneer and the cut of the veneer. And again, remember that every single one of these individual rays on the burst are hand applied to the veneer and then pressed into the MDF board that forms the fronts of these cabinets. The exterior is completely wrapped in the eucalyptus veneer. These would be great bedside cabinets. They'd also work in a living area if you had the right kind of chairs against the wall at the ends of each of uh, a sofa or a lot of other applications, I believe, for these small chests. The large chest is very, very impressive. It has the eucalyptus veneer sunburst off on somewhat off center onto the left of the drawers in this situation. And again, it has that really beautiful picture frame molding all the way around the edges. And the drawers are touch latch. And the interior of the drawers are completely veneered in the uh, eucalyptus veneer as well. Anytime a cabinet or a chest goes over 29 inches in height, we're required to include with the cabinet a what they call an anti-tip hardware device. These are normally mounted to the, to the backs of this chest. So this would be mounted to the chest here with screws. This would be mounted to the, door, the wall behind the cabinet or the chest. And then you would push it together when you push the chest up against the wall. But if you had a small one who wanted to climb on the, the drawers of your chest and accidentally knock it over, it would be tragic if you didn't have it really securely attached to the wall so it would not fall over and hurt the small child. So these are required by law now and I would encourage anyone who's installing any kind of a chest or a piece of furniture that's over 30 inches high where anti-tip hardware is included to be sure and include and attach it to the piece once you put it into the installation.